A pocketbook indeed. And I am here, I am still here, for part two of Kate Spade. We are on a pursuit for the perfect pocketbook. So I was going to apologize. I still don't like this, by the way. I tried it again. But then I realized there's no need to apologize. I'm just going to explain. The pursuit of the perfect pocketbook is going to be in many parts. My phone dislikes longer videos. It causes it to snap, crackle, and pop. So if you don't like watching several parts, I'm sorry. And I did apologize, but you know what I mean. At least this way you can go back and catch up if you want to. Let's go. Kate Spade. Let's continue. The Pursuit of the Perfect Pocketbook Part 1 of Kate's Spade, we took a good look at the clearance section. Now, we're going to check out all the sparkle. I love this champagne color. And apparently, we're still in the clearance section. Who knew? It's about $76, but please remember, do not trust my math. No cell phone pocket and no feet, but... Plenty of sparkle. Speaking of sparkle, I do love jewelry. I mean, we're already here, so we might as well take a look. 60% off, so about $38 for a giant strawberry ring. Seems reasonable. And about $48 for a glittery polar bear that's floating on an iceberg. I love my job. 50% off watches, so about $100 for this cherry watch. I'm not crazy about it, but I do love this winking watch. 60% off jewelry on this side as well, so only $32 for this fabulous flying pig with plenty of sparkle. Back to pocketbooks. It has several compartments, no spot for a phone. It does have feet. We should check a price. 60% and then 20%. I don't even trust my own math, but I believe it's about $146. I love these pinks and this red. I'm not crazy about polka dots, but that's just me. I wish they had some sparkle and were larger. I didn't find sparkle, but I did find larger. This is a nice color, has compartments with a zipper and feet. We should check a price. I guess it's a little plain, but $128 seems fair. And $49 for a matching set of pajamas. My next post will be the third and final part of Kate's spade, and then we'll move on to coach. Rock on.